Hey there. Today we're diving into the exciting world of tech with the Century Link C2100 modem. Packing. Modem. Power cord black. Ethernet cables yellow white. DSL cable green. Features. 2.4 GHz, 802.11 BGN. 5 GHz, 802.11 acres Wi-Fi 5. Ready for installation. Steps to complete setup. Plug in the cords. Plug the black power cord into a wall outlet and into the power port on the back of the modem. Plug one end of the green cord into the green DSL port on the back of the modem, and the other end into a working phone jack. Finally, plug one end of the yellow Ethernet cord into one of the Ethernet ports on the modem, and the other end into your computer's Ethernet port. No Ethernet port on your device? If you're using a tablet or a newer laptop, you might not have an Ethernet port on your device. If you finish your setup through the app connecting through mobile data, then you'll be able to connect to Wi-Fi using your Wi-Fi network and password printed on the modem label. DSL filter instructions. If you have both landline phone service, not VoIP and high-speed internet, you will need to install DSL filters on all of your phone cords. These are essential to make sure you get the best phone and internet connection. Do not install a filter between the modem and the wall jack. The DSL cord from the modem to the jack should not have a filter. As an alternative, use a splitter to plug both a phone and a DSL modem into one wall jack. Use a DSL splitter to plug a phone and a modem into one wall jack. Activate your services online. Option 1. On a smartphone connected to mobile data, open the My Century Link mobile app, and go into the Install My New Modem section. Option 2. Plug a computer into your modem directly with an Ethernet cable. Open a web browser and type into http colon slash slash connect. CenturyLink. Com not HTTPS. Status lights. If the internet light is green. Success. If the internet light is amber. You still need to finish online activation. If the internet light is red. An error has occurred. Modem light guide. Power light. Once the modem is plugged into power, it will start booting up. Once it has tested its own systems, the power light will turn solid green. Check the DSL light next, or see below if the power light does not turn green. Power light off. The modem isn't plugged in or doesn't have a power source. Power light red, the modem is testing its own hardware. If it's still red after a few minutes, there could be hardware or software failure. Power light orange or blinking green orange, the modem is testing its own software. DSL light. After the phone cord is plugged into the back of the modem and connected to an active wall jack, the modem will search for the DSL signal. Once it connects to our core network, the DSL light will turn solid green. Check the internet light next, or see below if the DSL light does not turn green. DSL light off, the modem doesn't detect a network connection. If it remains off for more than a minute after the power light is green, see the troubleshooting instructions below. DSL light blinking green slowly, the modem is searching for the Century Link network. If it keeps blinking for more than 5 minutes, see the troubleshooting instructions below. DSL light flashing green quickly, the modem has detected the network and is connecting. If it keeps flashing for more than 5 minutes, see the troubleshooting instructions below. DSL light red, the modem can't detect the Century Link network. If it stays red for more than 30 seconds, see the troubleshooting instructions below. Internet light. After the power and DSL lights are green, the modem will then connect to the internet. Once it's online, the internet light will turn green. During normal use, the internet light will flash and flicker green whenever your modem is sending data back and forth between the internet and your devices. Internet light off, the modem is in transparent bridge mode. If it stays off for more than 30 seconds after the DSL light is green, you'll need to try resetting your modem by pressing the reset button for 10 seconds. Then, complete setup by follow the troubleshooting instructions below. Internet light blinking red slash green, the modem is completing auto configuration. If this continues for more than a minute, you may need to contact technical support to ask for assistance. Internet light orange, your modem needs to be activated. To do this, Connect a computer directly to your modem and open up a web browser. You will be taken to the Century Link activation page. If you get page cannot be displayed at this point, contact technical support. Internet light red, the authentication credentials are not accepted by the network. Ethernet light, after the internet light is green, you are connected and ready to get online. The ethernet lights will be solid green only when a device is plugged into the corresponding port on the back of the modem with an ethernet cable. 
Ethernet lights off, no device is connected to the corresponding Ethernet port. Wi-Fi light. Naturally, most of us use the wireless network to access the Internet on many devices. The Wi-Fi light will be solid green when Wi-Fi is enabled on the modem and will flash or flicker whenever data is transmitted over the Wi-Fi connection. Wireless light off, the modem's Wi-Fi function, wireless radio, hasn't been enabled in the settings. To enable Wi-Fi on your modem, open a web browser on a device that is connected to the modem, and go to http colon slash slash 192.168.0.1. Log in using the admin username and password on your modem label. Select the wireless setup menu. Select basic settings in the left sidebar. Next to wireless radio, choose enable. Select apply to save your changes. Wi-Fi light orange, the Wi-Fi is temporarily turned off according to the wireless schedule feature. The wireless schedule in the modem's wireless setup settings allows you to set specific days and times that your Wi-Fi network turns on and off. If you want to adjust the wireless schedule on your modem, open a web browser on a device that is connected to the modem, and go to http colon slash slash 192.168.0.1. Log in using the admin username and password on your modem label. Select the wireless setup menu. Select the wireless schedule option in the left sidebar. Make the desired changes by selecting the days slash times to enable or disable the Wi-Fi. Select apply to save your changes. WPS light. Wi-Fi protected setup is an easy way to connect devices to your Wi-Fi network with the press of a button. When the WPS light is green, it is enabled and ready to connect. You can push the button to connect a WPS compatible device to your modem's Wi-Fi network without entering the SSID passphrase on the device. WPS light off, WPS is disabled. To enable WPS, open a web browser on a device that is connected to the modem, and go to http colon slash slash 192.168.0.1. Log in using the admin username and password on your modem label. Select the wireless setup menu. Select the WPS option in the left sidebar. Select enable. Select apply to save your changes. WPS button blinking orange. WPS is connecting to a device. If this continues for more than two minutes, try rebooting your modem, then try pairing connecting again. WPS button blinking red, there was an error when connecting, or a session overlap was detected. If this continues for more than 30 seconds, try rebooting your modem. For more updates subscribe to our channel. Thank mm -hmm. you.